Welcome back everybody, my name is Misty Slash Kinexia and this is the top 5 of the day. We are currently Tuesday and it is exciting to get new topics to talk about. So uh, if you're brand new to the top 5 of the day, it is the place where I pick from the database that is randomanimate.org, not sponsored. Um, I They have a database, they give me one at random and I talk more in depth about it. It's, it's real self-explanatory, you'll see as we go along. Um, I decided to start the week by doing uh, curated genre. So um, yesterday we did horror. If you missed that one, you could check it out if you're into that. If you didn't and you're here for more, uh, how about we do Etchy? That was another one that was highly requested. So uh, Etchy Tuesday. <laughs> so let's pick the first one of the day. And today we get something that's gonna be pretty exciting for a lot of you guys, or, or not. Uh, Charger Girl Jude and Chan. It's an interesting one. It's a comedy one. Uh, you'll, you'll see. You'll just, just play the clip. Play the clip, Jess. First entry for today, Charger Girl Jude and Chad. It's highly possible you have never heard of Jude and Chan, and honestly, <laughs> nobody could blame you for it. This anime is as low-key as it gets. The show came out in 2009, and it's an etchy anime about Plug. It may be short for butt plug, I don't know, the story doesn't go that far in detail about her name. But either way, she's a charger girl and her job is to go around, vibrate, and just recharge people who are down on their luck. The story is as mundane as they go, you get the episode at the pool slash beach, any excuse to get the girls in swim gear, and truly it just doesn't go anywhere. Minimalist gives it a 6.8 out of 10. I can't give it more than a 5, <laughs> sorry, it's just too forgetful. If you dig boobies, they have a wide variety, nicely drawn, with that always appreciable jiggle physics. But that's all it has to offer. Moving on! So how do we feel about this one? We cool? You like it? Maybe not? Maybe you want another one? Don't worry fam, I got you covered. Check this out. With this new one, it is an exciting one. Dark Rabbit has seven lives. You know what? It's a show that I've been meaning to talk about for a long time, but never had the occasion to. So, uh, I, I think if you didn't like the first one, this one might be more up your alley. Oh. Entry number two. A Dark Rabbit has seven lives. A Dark Rabbit is a vampire anime that has a great and strong start, but then it dies down really early on. It gets swarmed by fan service, but the bad kind of fan service. Look, I don't want to come off as a self-entitled smut hater, but for Christ's sake, if you focus on making lewd scenes with tentacle, bondage, whatever, I, I don't care. But then you censor it, it gives me severe blue balls, bro. Do or don't, just commit 100% to one. Anyway, taking my small gripe away from that, uh, the show will most likely end up being a hit or a miss. If you don't mind skipping and jumping from one event to another, you make sure to check it out on Crunchyroll.com slash Misty, it's there. My list gives it a 6.8 out of 10. Huh, again. Alright, I liked it more than Juden, so I'll, I'll give it a 6 out of 10. Yeah, that's fair. Noah. <gasps> But if that's not the case, don't worry. If you still want something more interesting, we've got three more picks to go through. How about we get this one instead? Give it a give it a lick. Maybe you'll like it. Maybe it tastes like raisin. Strike the blood. <laughs> Maybe it tastes like blood. <laughs> um, it's a. a is it vampire? Uh, it's hardly fitting the criteria. But um, strike the blood. Very itchy anime. Uh, incredible visual. You know what? Let's play the clip. See what you guys think about it. Personally, I'm kind of. <laughs> but you'll see. Maybe you'll like it. Hotari. Nah. Nande ore natsuyasu ni konna taiyo no tsuishi o uke nakya nannen daro na. Yeah yeah. Number three. Strike the blood. Now, if you want a proper etchy anime about vampire, this is more like it. First of all, Strike the Blood just looks beautiful. The art and the character designs are all appealing. Story? Eh, it can go either way. If you like vampire, it'll greatly tip the balance in your favor. 
The story is about a teenager who becomes a vampire and a girl who has to team up with him to protect the city from emerging chaos. The whole thing makes a bit of harem factor into the lot and after four years they're currently coming out with a new bunch of episodes called Strike the Blood 2. I'm waiting to see where it goes, but I do have hope. Strike the Blood got 7.4 on Mal. I suppose it deserves a passing grade and since it's better than Dark Rabbit, let's go for 6.9. <laughs> God, I'm immature. Let's keep the wheel spinning! We get another pick and we get the incredible Akiba Strip the animation. It is the anime that is currently airing. I think there's like two episodes out right now. Uh, based on the game Akiba Strip. Uh, cool concept where you have to. What was it again? I haven't started watching it. I know what it is because I, I've heard of the game, but I believe you go through Akihabara and uh, you punch people out of their clothes, something like that. The, the anime might be on the same wavelength of it, but uh, I'll, I'll tell you more about it. I just have to catch up like one or two episodes of it. We'll see. Maybe it's gonna be fun. <laughs> Entry number four, Akiba Strip, the animation. Well, at the moment, there's only two episodes out of Akiba's trip, and from what I can gather from myself and from the people around, everyone has a pretty lukewarm appreciation for it. First off, it's an adaptation of the game by the same name. The story is about a group of creatures who invades Hakiabara, which is a district in Tokyo, and prey on the energy of people. The only way to get rid of those creatures is to expose their body to ambient air, because fuck, <laughs> what new excuse can we get to insert fancers? The show has definitely an interesting color palette, so visually they got me invested. Characters are a bit generic, and a bit of plot investment could go the extra mile. Mindless gives it a 6.8. Again? Man, that feels like the default score for Echi anime. Personally, I'll give it a 7 panties out of 10. Not because it's good, but because my buddy Alejandro Saab is gonna be on the official dub for the anime, and I wanna support him. He's really good. You should check out his channel. He goes by Kagi's Films. And now, keeping the best for the last, just like Smarties. Do you guys have Smarties in USA? Yeah, or maybe it's just a Canadian thing. Um, Heaven's Less Property. Very itchy title. Very comedy focused. Stick to season one and two. You'll be fine. If you want to know more about the story, switch to the manga. Besides that, just don't bother with the OVA. Trust me. If you ever trusted something that important with your life, trust my word for it. Don't watch the OVA for whatever, what, like season two after that. Eternal My Master, that's the name. Just don't bother. Trust me. But now let's check out the seasons. <laughs> Number 5. Heaven's Lost Property Final pick for today and man aren't you guys in luck. Heaven's Lost Property is one of the finest edgy comedy out there. I've lost my lust for these anime a while back, mostly because there was so many I was drowning in them. While people can tell you how much they love Sekire, Freezing, Demon King Daimao, Infinite Stratos, and Dear Lord, the list would go on. I've got kinda numb to all of them, and they ended up mixing in some kind of blur. Evan's Lost Property hasn't. I'm not sure if that's due to the superior voice acting, the catchy character designs, or the genuine comedy scenario it creates, but it was a hit for me. It got 7.8 on Mal, and I don't feel bad at all to run it up to an 8. Provided, again, we're only talking about season 1 and 2. Please. Please, someone, buy all the copies of Eternal, my master, and set them on fire. For me. I hate it so much. And I know that the fact that I'm saying this is gonna push more people into watching it. <laughs> I will have warned you. So thank you so much for joining us today. If you enjoy this bunch of edgy titles, please give it a like. 
And if you'd like to see more top five of the day, come back tomorrow or even subscribe. That will save you the hassle of typing my long ass name in the search bar. Uh, <laughs> Tomorrow we're gonna try another genre. I'm not gonna tell you which one right now, just to, to keep you hoping for the best. <laughs> and um, it's no, it's mostly because I just don't know what I'm gonna do. And thus, I will see you guys tomorrow, if you dare, which you might. I'm not sure why I'm pausing in between each, but peace out. I'll find another way back here.